The reference daily intake (RDI) is the daily intake level of a nutrient that is considered to be sufficient to meet the requirements of 97 to 98 percent of healthy individuals in every demographic in the United States. While developed for the U.S. population, it has been adopted by other countries, though not universally. The RDI is used to determine the daily value (DV) of foods, which is printed on nutrition facts labels as percent DV in the United States and Canada, and is regulated by the Food and Drug Administration (FDA) and Health Canada. The labels "high," "rich in," or "excellent source of" may be used for a food if it contains 20% or more of the RDI. The labels "good source," "contains," or "provides." may be used on a food if it contains between 10% and 20% of the RDI the recommended dietary allowances RDAs were a set of nutrition recommendations that evolved into both the dietary reference intake dry system of nutrition recommendations which still defines RDA values and the RDIs used for food labeling the first regulations governing U.S. nutrition labels specified a percent U.S. RDA declaration based on the current RDA values, which had been published in 1968. Later, the percent U.S. RDA was renamed the percent DV and the RDA values that the percent DVs were based on became the RDIs. The RDAs and later the RDA values within the dry were regularly revised to reflect the latest scientific information, but although the nutrition labeling regulations were occasionally updated, the existing RDI values were not changed, so that until 2016 many of the DVs used on nutrition facts labels were still based on the outdated RDAs from 1968. In 2016, the Food and Drug Administration published changes to the regulations including updated RDIs and DVs based primarily on the RDAs in the current dry. <laughs> <laughs> Food labeling reference tables Daily values used by the FDA for the following macronutrients are daily reference values. FDA issued a final rule on changes to facts panel on May 27, 2016. The new values were published in the Federal Register. New values can be used on labels now. The original deadline to be in compliance was July 28, 2018, but on September 29, 2017 the FDA released a proposed rule that extended the deadline to January 1, 2020 for large companies and January 1, 2021 for small companies. In the interim, products with old or new facts panel content will be on market shelves at same time. The following table lists the old and new DVs based on a caloric intake of 2,000 kcal kilo for adults and children 4 or more years of age. For vitamins and minerals, the old RDIs and new RDIs old and new adult 100% daily values are given in the following table, along with the more recent RDAs or AIs of the dietary reference intakes maximized over sex and age groups, excluding women who are pregnant or lactating. History The RDI is derived from the RDAs, which were first developed during World War II by Lydia J. Roberts, Hazel Stiebeling and Helen S. Mitchell, all part of a committee established by the U.S. National Academy of Sciences to investigate issues of nutrition that might "...affect national defense." Nestle, 35. The committee was renamed the Food and Nutrition Board in 1941, after which they began to deliberate on a set of recommendations of a standard daily allowance for each type of nutrient. The standards would be used for nutrition recommendations for the armed forces, for civilians, and for overseas population who might need food relief. Roberts, Stiebeling, and Mitchell surveyed all available data, created a tentative set of allowances for energy and eight nutrients and submitted them to experts for review Nestle, 35. The final set of guidelines, called RDAs for Recommended Dietary Allowances, were accepted in 1941. The allowances were meant to provide superior nutrition for civilians and military personnel, so they included a «margin of safety». Because of food rationing during the war, the food guides created by government agencies to direct citizens' nutritional intake also took food availability into account. The Food and Nutrition Board subsequently revised the RDAs every five to ten years. 
In 1973, the FDA introduced regulations to specify the format of nutrition labels when present, although the inclusion of such labels was largely voluntary, only being required if nutrition claims were made or if nutritional supplements were added to the food. The nutrition labels were to include percent U.S. RDA based on the 1968 RDAs in effect at the time. The RDAs continued to be updated in 1974, 1980 and 1989, but the values specified for nutrition labeling remained unchanged. In 1993, the FDA published new regulations mandating the inclusion of a nutrition facts label on most packaged foods. Originally, the FDA had proposed replacing the percent US RDAs with percent daily values based on the 1989 RDAs, but the Dietary Supplement Act of 1992 prevented it from doing so. Instead it introduced the RDI to be the basis of the new daily values. The RDI consisted of the existing US RDA values still based on the 1968 RDAs as the FDA was not allowed to change them at the time and new values for additional nutrients not included in the 1968 RDAs in 1997 at the suggestion of the Institute of Medicine of the National Academy the RDAs became one part of a broader set of dietary guidelines called the dietary reference intake used by both the United States and Canada as part of the DRY, the RDAs continued to be updated. On May 27, 2016, the FDA updated the regulations to change the RDI and daily values to reflect current scientific information. Until this time, the daily values were still largely based on the 1968 RDAs. The new regulations make several other changes to the nutrition facts label to facilitate consumer understanding of the calorie and nutrient contents of their foods, emphasizing nutrients of current concern, such as vitamin D and potassium. The revision to the regulations came into effect on 26 July 2016 and initially stipulated that larger manufacturers must comply within two years while smaller manufacturers had an additional year. On September 29, 2017 the FDA released a proposed rule that extended the deadline to January 1, 2020 for large companies and January 1, 2021 for small companies. Sodium <inaudible> 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 In 2010, the U.S. Institute of Medicine determined that the government should establish new consumption standards for salt to reduce the amount of sodium in the typical American diet below levels associated with higher risk of several cardiovascular diseases, yet maintain consumer preferences for salt-flavored food. The daily maximum for sodium in the United States had been above estimated minimums for decades. For instance, the National Research Council found that 500 mg of sodium per day approximately 1,250 mg of table salt is a safe minimum level. In the United Kingdom, the daily allowance for salt is 6 g approximately 2.5 teaspoons, about the upper limit in the U.S., an amount considered too high. The Institute of Medicine advisory stated daily intake basis Americans consume more than 3400 mg of sodium the amount in about 1.5 teaspoons of salt 8.7 grams each day The recommended maximum daily intake of sodium the amount above which health problems appear is 2300 mg per day for adults about 1 teaspoon of salt 5.9 grams the recommended adequate intake of sodium is 1,500 mg (3.9 grams salt) per day, and people over 50 need even less. Topic. See also. Canada's food guide. Dietary mineral. Dietary reference intake. Dietary reference values. United Kingdom. Essential amino acid Essential fatty acid Essential nutrient Healthy diet Nutrient Vitamins <laughs>